Bitcoin and Ethereum, what's its next move? Let's find out in the chart, shall we? Is Bitcoin going to dump all the way to the scary target down there? I'm gonna, we're gonna talk about that. And also, if Bitcoin breaks above this purple line right here, which is the 41,000-ish area, what does that mean? How far can we go? Yes, we're gonna talk about that. And how do we trade this, this, this volatility as well in a shorter time frame? So yeah, we're gonna we're going to get into all of that in today's episode. We're separating the news and the, the TA, right? Today's this part is for TA, the next part is for the news. We're gonna see another video coming out later on. And if you want to trade. Anything that happens in the TA, you can do so by heading over to Bybit, clicking the link below and getting your um, deposit bonus and use that deposit bonus to trade on the exchange, right? Don't uh, use your own money, use the deposit bo bonus money and you can create a small trade and, uh, you know, see how you see how well your trading skills are, right? Uh, make sure that you all don't use more than 5% um, of your money and, uh, you will do well. You will do well. All right. With that said, um, everything in this show is trading entertainment. It's not financial advice. Please do your own research before putting your hard earned money in the market. So let's get on to the charts for today. Okay. So I got a call from a rich guy and she said, Hey, what do I do? Should I go short or should I go long? And I said, well, you know, it's definitely a short, but I wanted to tell him where to short, but I figured, well, you figure it out, right? <laughs> so, um, yeah, I couldn't, like, explain it over, over WhatsApp, like, where to short. Um, but it was clear, Hail Mary short, right? Right? We, were, we slowed down here, created the, probably a divergence, probably. And there's a little bit of a divergence, but not a lot. Maybe on the MACD, there's a bigger divergence. But anyways, you can see that this, this market w had, had some serious upward pressure. People are, are dumping their Bitcoins at 40,000 saying, okay, you know what, I, I need to out of this market, man. It's going down. It's going down. I got to get, get out. Right? And yeah, so they're doing that um, at this, the, the 40,000 level and ish level. So you could expect a lot of overhead resistance over time. And this will be very, very powerful resistance going further. Uh, once we try to come back up here to retest it. So even if we retest it today, it's probably going to, I mean, not today, but in the short term, uh, before we test the 30,000, it's still probably not going to make it above that. Probably. That's the highest probability. But as you can see, let me get back to my short here. Um, this was a clear short from here to there. And then target to one right of course you had lots more room to go down once you hit the target you could have like either taken a percentage off or move it to 50 percent um to the stop to the stop but it all depends on what happened on this candlestick it probably would it would it have um, stopped you out at the 50 percent mark no it would not so there you go so there you go there it is so, so look at that. There you go. We've got it. Uh, you could have got made some even more money here as this thing comes down. Now, looking at this, um, we're already starting to bounce off of this. We can see that we have not hit the target, most likely, uh, of the overall um, trend here. This is this M pattern, right? So you could have ran this. This trade could have ran right into the next trade, which is the breakout pattern right here. There's another breakout trade, short trade right here. Unfortunately, this breakout trade right here, it's right there, it's right there, is not uh, finished, right? So uh, from there to there, we first start with the, that's the, that's where you, you would normally do your stop loss. So, um, so you don't get a knob stop, but we want to do two to one. And so uh, first I'm going to set this to one to one and then move the, um, stop loss until it equals two to one there we go so that would be your stop loss right about here and you can see we still have more room to get fall all the way down to the thirty three thousand dollar level now is it wise 
the, since this thing is coming back at us to jump into this trade, I would say prob I would say no. Here's why: because we're too far away from the 13 EMA um, on this four-hour um, mark. So we went too far, too fast, and I would expect a little bit of a bounce because of um, I'm sure the R RSI and all that is is um, oversold. So let me go over so we can get some more um, data here onto this chart here. Let's see here, auto size. So um, we can see, let's see if we have um, divergence. No, we don't, right here, here to there. And what about here? Yes, divergence, there we go. On the MACD, we have divergence, we have it confirmed already. Um, and you just had to like, you know, set, set your, um, what's it called? Hail Mary short and your way, way you go. All right, so, um, and then of course you can see there's divergence um, on the volume. Wow, pretty bad. Let's see if that's the case. Wow, no it wasn't, okay. That would have been pretty rough. Hmm, wait a second. So right here, let's just check. Let me just double check that here. And here, this is the next peak right here. So let's, uh, oops, wrong button. Let's zoom that in now. Yes, uh, no it wasn't, no, because this peak, this peak was higher, okay. So it wasn't divergence. Okay, no divergence, unfortunately, on the volume. That would have been like icing on the cake for your, um, Trade easy trade thing yeah yeah, yeah. this was a this was a no brainer um, trade uh, the hail mary up here but and um, and also this one down here as well this would have made those two these this, these two trades uh, an obvious no brainer hey I'm going to take it we're going to go um, let's go down to the shorter time frames and see if there's any kind of like um, trades that we can make based on what we can see at the lower time frames we are like just got over over sold here for like the, the traders got overzealous and decided hey you know what we're gonna um short the snot out of it well that reverses the market heavily um even though these three of the musketeers were saying yeah yeah we're going down um there was just too much prime uh, selling pressure which resulted in someone um taking out up that liquidity uh, by buying in at, at that level because there was just so much uh, sellers that they were just not willing to um, to give that up, right? So because they're holding for the long term, most likely. Okay, so so let's just see if this thing is going to roll over some more. Um, there is on the hourly. There is no divergence. Right, so we have more ways to go. The best way to get into this, of course, is to go down all the way, unfortunately, to the five minute. Um, I think there's a clear short here somewhere. We just need to find it. And I don't see it here on the, um, the five minute. We have to wait until we have some sort of um, patterns to give us an indication to go into short at this time. And there is none at this time of course this fake out this fake w is like this this looks like a w remember i showed you guys what a w looks like this looks like a w but it's not um because this one's lower this part is lower than this part here here um some people like to take the bodies i i don't generally sometimes i do but generally i don't and uh, I don't see the, this is the body. Uh, you could say that this body anyways is lower than the, uh, this one up here. So that does, that, that, those two circles and that W did not look, look appropriate. So uh, <laughs> YouTube appropriate, but whatever. Um, yeah, so let's uh, continue on here to uh, see if there's anything else. Um, no, there is no, no trade. And sometimes no trade is the best trade to just sit on your hands, like take your hands and sit on them and wait until a trade comes. Uh, don't try to force the market. Um, if you do, 
you're going to get burned. Sorry to interrupt in the middle of the stream, but head over to blockfi.com slash davincij15 and you could earn $250, also 8.6% on your crypto. Of course, know your risks and you'll be able to trade crypto over there. Also get access to a credit card, allow you to spend your, your crypto. Links are in the description below. You're gonna, it's gonna let you burn, burn, burn heavily. Just like the people who bought like forty forty four forty four hundred dollars for bit the Ethereum. They're feeling the burn here. Feeling the burn heavy. But hey, you know what? They are not if they hold uh, they won't regret it over the long term, I can tell you that much. Alright, let's go to the four hour of uh, Ethereum and um quickly check the charts there. Um for Ethereum. Pretty much the same kind of deal, not quite a little bit, a little bit more scarier than um, Ethereum. I mean Bitcoin, but the Hail Mary does work there, but not often. It uh, more often than not, it would uh, fail. And look at that. That really, that made you feel like Hail Mary, Mother of God, please. <laughs> as it, as as you can see. It broke above the 78.6, broke above the 88.6, and was just about to stop you out when reversed. Oof, brutal, absolute brutalness, right, um, on this, um, this particular M that it was drawing out. But it was like, almost didn't want to give you that entry, right? Almost wanted to stop you out, like stop run you and done so hard to trade because there's some some more it's like more often than not it stop runs you so if you do these hail mary trades you're gonna you're gonna get stopped out too many times so maybe a continuation hail mary would be better would be better and that there is one right here as you can see the m which took us down to down all the way here now of course this is not completed the m pattern and i, I don't, i'm not saying that you should jump into this trade uh, generally, you should not. Uh, if it already broke down and then it comes back to your entry level, that's not a good sign. Um, not a guarantee that it's uh, it's going to um, uh, uh, you know gets you to stop, stop cause your your runs the stops to be run. Sorry, uh, but it will. Um, it is a, a low probability for you to like uh, get a win after it comes back, uh, in, and when it breaks down after a breakout breakout trade. So, it comes back at you, right? Could get what that's called. That's called what a failed move equals a fast move in the opposite direction. All right, so I'm gonna close that off there. Um, and let's, let me just quickly check if there's any kind of trade on the lower time frames for Ethereum. No, it looks exactly like 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 Bitcoin. Oh, five seconds. Yeah, right. Let's go to a one-minute chart. <laughs> uh, yeah, no. Just joking. Not going to do that to you guys. Yeah, there's nothing. Nothing to trade. You have to sit on your hands. Okay, so let's head over to the dominance and see what, what's happening with the, uh, the, the, the big D. The big D and the big dominance against alt alt against bitcoin and you can see um just like i predicted exactly as predicted right we're up here at this chart exactly as predicted we were down here and bounced exactly as predicted <laughs> and so right now i don't see a, us chopping unfortunately um i think we're going to have to make some sort of um um, some sort of um, pattern to decide which direction we're going to go, whether it goes up or whether it goes down, right? Um, and if it does go down, um, I don't see us going more lower than 35 uh, before we get another bounce um, and probably get it back way up at the 50-ish level probably where we had the resistance or maybe, a, whoa, okay, never mind. We might get it all the way back up just below the 60 level, which is really, really sucky. Um, 
but hopefully we get some resistance up here. But yeah, we might not. Right? We might just uh, head back all the way higher. Now, that's assuming that's assuming we don't break the 35 35% um, percent level and assuming we do not um, we do not break above this trend line here. We, we shouldn't have we shouldn't have to worry about any of this up here, getting up up way up here. But you never know. You never know with this market. Okay. Um, I want to point out something for the little ladies, right? People who take my little lady courses, which are free, right here. If you head over to www.davincicodes.net slash videos, I want to show you guys a little bit of something, right, about the market and um, something cool, basically, with the little old lady. We talk about this over and over again in the little old lady. Draw your fibs. When the market takes off, don't chase. Draw your fibs. Enter in a little bit at the 61.8 and more at the 78.6 and more at the 88.6. But you can see, just doing that would have gotten you paid, gotten you free Matic right up here. See, look at the sats. 2,800 sats, right? So it definitely would have got you paid because the top was 6,060 sats. It's that simple, folks. Right? Follow the little old lady strategy and, and get paid. Really that simple. Really that simple. If you missed, uh, if you missed this live, right? We could have watched this live, right? And, and if you missed it, you should join. Head over to www.davincij15.com, right? I'm going to bring it up here right now. And uh, join us live every day. And also, now I'm going to have my, um, my server right and it's here and i'm glad because i'm going to be able to broadcast again to twitch so you'll be able to watch this live on twitch if you want to as well or if you want you could also purchase a little bit of the dj15 token to watch this live look out for my review of this particular um hardware wallet i want to try this out i want to play with it and see how well it works uh, it's called safe pal uh, I just got it with the with the um, with the uh, server, so looking forward to uh, that. The uh, SafePal S1 looks good. Looks good. I'm, it looks it's, looks pretty cool. I like it. I like its design so far, and uh, and I'm gonna be definitely playing with this and letting you all know how well this thing is. So look out for that. All right. Uh, thanks for watching. And remember, Bitcoin's real. Bitcoin's here to stay, and you need to be, own some and be a part of it. Cheers.